welcome viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on extensive revision of the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 1. So if you haven't seen other episodes, please go to our YouTube channel and check for playlists that contains these extensive revision of each and every question from this paper. So questions are grouped in according to the paper and the topics. This it's important for you, especially if you're struggling with a specific topic. You go to a specific topic, you find a series of questions from different papers as far as 2017. If you are new to this channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you find this video to be helpful, please consider hitting the like button and share with also your colleagues. Let us look at question 11. 11M Towns A and B are on the longitudes 75 degrees west and 45 degrees east respectively. Find the time difference between these towns. So the question requires us to find the time difference. So we need to take note of what the question wants us. So to find the time difference, we need to know the difference in the degrees. So, one is 75 degrees west, the other one is 45 degrees east. So, if one is in the west, then the other one is in the east. To find the difference, we just add the two longitude on which these two points lies. If they are all on the west, you subtract the smaller one from the largest. If they are all in the east, you subtract again the smaller one from the bigger one to find them the difference. So in this case, to answer M, because they are in the opposite sides of the Greenwich Meridian, so we are going to say we have 75 degrees plus 45 degrees, which will give us when we add these two, we are going to end up with 120 degrees. So this is the difference. Because one lies on the east. So let me assume that the other one is lying the other side. Too. So the difference between these two, we connect them to the center. Then we find this angle. This angle is the difference. And that difference is 120 degrees. So once we find the difference in them, degrees on which these two points lies in terms of the longitude we need to find now the time difference so what we know is the entire equator this great circle the equator is 360 degrees eh, complete but it takes 24 hours for the earth to rotate just in case we forget the concept, so we divide by 24. So what you notice is, if you divide this by 24, you are going to get 15. So this 15 tells me that 15 degrees gives us one hour. Remember these are degrees, then we divide by 24 hours, in the time it takes for the earth to rotate completely. So for every 15 degrees rotation, this is equivalent to one hour period. So 15 degrees differences is one hour. So now what we do is, if 15 degrees is equal to one hour, then 120 degrees is equal to what? What's the time difference? So we're going to cross multiply. So it will be 15 multiplied by x, 15 degrees multiplied by x is equal to 120 degrees multiplied by one hour. So we divide by 15 degrees, then this side also by 15 degrees, so x is equal to, so 15 into 120. So the first thing that I can do is, because remember you're not supposed to use a calculator, is 3 into 15 is say a 5, 3 into 12 is a 4, so it means 40, 5 into 40 is 8. So this is 8, so we have 8 hours. So 8 hours is the time difference between these two towns. So for A, we found it to be 8 hours. 
Then we look at BIM. The diagram shows towns P, which is this one, then and Q, which is this one. An aeroplane took four and a half hours to fly from town P to town Q. Find its average speed in knots, which is in nautical miles per hour. So we know that speed is given by, this is B, speed is given by distance over time. So the first thing that we need to find is distance because time has been given to us. You notice that town is, I mean time is 4.5 hours, which is four and a half hours. Then P lies here, then Q this one. So you notice that this is 75 degrees west, this is not changing. So the only thing that is changing is the latitude on which this one lies. So we are moving in the same longitude. So along this same longitude is what we, where we are moving. And this is a great circle. So because the question is asking us to find in knots, which is in nautical miles per hour, we know that this is moving from P to Q along the center. So we are looking for this degree. So this difference is what we need. So the difference is it will be 45 degrees south, then plus 0 degrees along the equator. So the difference is this 45. So we know we found the difference, which is this angle, this angle, this feet. You see? But because the question is asking us to find the answer in nautical miles per hour, we can just find the distance in nautical miles. So if you are moving along the great circle, the distance in nautical miles is given by the difference in the degrees between two towns where they lie. You multiply by 60. Then what you find is the distance. So now we found this to be 45. Remember from here, this is 45, the difference here. From P to Q, this difference here in the angle is 45. So we have 45 multiply by 60. So again here you need to be quick. So it's 45 then multiply by 60. So 0 times 5 is 0. 0 times 4 is 0. Then 6 times 5 is 30. We carry 3. 6 times 4 is 24 plus 3, 27. So when we add this, we end up with 0, 0, 2700. These are nautical miles. So now we know time, we know distance. So it's easier to find speed. So now what we have is speed is equal to 2700 divided by 4.5. Remember this time is given to us. It's given to us here. Then we found in the distance in nautical miles. So at this point, you just see the matter of now division. So the first thing that I can do is I can divide 3 into 4.5. So that is easier. This is 1.5. 3 into 27 is 9. 1.5 into 1.5 is 1. 1.5 into 9 is 6. Then I end up with 600. So 600 knots. Remember these are not commas. Then these are hours. So not commas per hour are known as knots. So we have 600 knots as our final answer. So once you do this, you get the full max.